Balance Sanjay. This is your host Rupan Jata, and once again we have with us our competitive exam expert, Miss Ankita Gautam. Welcome to the show, Ankita. Thank you, Rupan Jata. So tell us what are we going to talk about today? Today we are going to talk about NSO and NSTS examination. And uh, what are these? Let's let's start with the NSO. What is NSO? NSO is a National Science Olympiad, which is conducted by Science Olympiad Foundation, New Delhi. Uh, this exam checks the basic learning and basic concept of students. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, Ankita, who all are eligible for NSO? Students from class first to twelfth can give this examination. From class first to twelfth. Okay, and it can be in any medium, English, Hindi, yes, whatever. Yes, any medium. All right, Ankita. So, after eligibility, tell us how can a student enroll for this test? Students can enroll from their schools only. Okay, so Ankita, what is the exam format for NSO? Uh, it is conducted in two levels: level one and level two. All right. So we have an important piece of information for you. There is no level two for class first and second students in NSO. You just have to clear the first level. That's it for you. All right. And uh, now, Ankita, let's talk about the exam pattern. What is the exam pattern for NSO? There are three sections for each classes. For class first to tenth, logical reasoning, science, and achiever sections are there. For class eleventh and twelfth, physics, chemistry, achiever section, and maths or biology sections are there. Okay, so now let's move on to the benefits of this test. There are uh, cash prizes, uh, medals, and uh, certificates for achievers, and also the participation certificates for each participants. Great. And now let's move on to NSTSE. That's the second exam you told us we are going to talk about, yes. right? So, what is NSTSE? Uh, NSTSE is a, is a diagnostic test which checks uh, learning ability of a student. It is it stands for National Science Talent Search Examination, which is conducted by Unified Council Hyderabad. And who are eligible for this exam? From class uh, second to twelfth students can appear for this examination. Okay. And again, what is the exam format for NSTAC? It is conducted only one level. Just one level. Well, that's great. And uh, what is the exam pattern? For class first, second, and third, mathematics and science subjects are covered. For class fourth and fifth, mathematics, science, and general questions are asked. For class six to tenth, mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and general questions are asked. For class eleventh and twelfth, physics, chemistry. General questions are asked, and mathematics and biology depends on the stream of the student. So, I get the benefits. What are the benefits of giving NSTSE? Uh, there is two lakh rupees cash prize for uh, the topper of NSTSE examination, and different cash prizes for the top rankers in each class. And apart from this, medal certificates are also given to the achievers, and participation certificates for each participants. All right, Ankita. And now we would like you to give your expert suggestions to the students who are planning to appear for both NSO and NSTSE. Most of the parents and students think that the Olympiad is a burden in their routine study, but the fact is that it enhances their learning capacity, their basic concepts, their knowledge. Also, it's an achievement for the students. Great. So, thanks, Ankita, once again for being here and telling us about two exams today. Thank you so much, Rupan Jita. And with that, today's show comes to an end. We will be back with more information and interesting updates on various other competitive exams. Till then, have a good day.